it can be really hard to find a fun fishing game. A lot of fishing games try to make the game fun and somewhat realistic, which isn't a bad thing. But what ends up happening is developers add things that not only confuse players, but also make the game boring and unenjoyable. But that is not the case with this game. It's real fishing for Sony PlayStation. Real Fishing was released on the Sony PlayStation in Japan in 1996, and then released in North America of 1998. When you first start the game, you'll be asked to type in your name, and then you're off on your fishing adventure. You'll always start in the Aqua Room. This acts as the main hub of the game. From here, you can choose which of the seven lakes you want to fish at, check on your fish that you've caught in the two tanks you have, check on your fishing license, and look at your fishing chart, which tracks the size of fish you've caught, your fish total from each stage, and the success rate from each stage. Real fishing is unlike any other fishing game that I've personally ever played. In going through each stage, you'll see that you'll be able to catch different fish. These can range from trout to carp, bluegill, black bass, and so on. And each fish has to be hooked a certain way. It's honestly really hard to explain how to hook a fish in this game. You really have to get a feel for it. If you hit the X button too early, gone. Too late, gone. But don't get frustrated, because once you get the hang of it, this game becomes so enjoyable. One of the really cool things about real fishing is the large variety of tackle you get to use in this game. Pressing square when you're at a lake will bring up the menu. From here you can select your tackle, and as I said, there's a lot. You get the option to choose from whether or not you want to use a regular rod or a fly fishing rod, what float you want to use, what hook you want to use, as well as the many different bait options. This may seem like a lot of unnecessary stuff, but I highly encourage you to experiment with these options. I say this because the size of fish you catch will change depending on what you're using. And if you want to progress in this game, you will have to catch a fish of a certain size. Like for example, in order to access stage 3, you will have to catch a char larger than 9.8 inches. And to access stage 6, you will have to catch a black bass larger than 15 inches. So definitely try different rod and bait combinations. When it comes to actually fishing in this game, it's such a fun and relaxing experience. The calm music mixed with the environment and nature sound effects really make this game a special experience that words can't really describe. The different scenery you get seen each stage, casting a line in the water, waiting for a fish to bite, it's just a really fun and relaxing experience. Going along with that, they really made it feel like you're actually fishing at these lakes, to the best of their ability of course. I'm not saying it's the exact same as fishing in real life, but it really is quite amazing what they were able to do with the Sony PlayStation. One other interesting feature to know are the fish tanks I mentioned earlier. You can put a total of three fish in each tank and name them whenever you want if you choose to. It's a nice feature if you want to take a break from fishing or if you like taking care of virtual pets. It's quite entertaining to put the food in the tank and watch all the fish swim to the food and try and eat it first. The fish can die though, so don't forget to feed them from time to time. If you're really into fishing games and want something a little more realistic and relaxing, then I'm sure you'll have an absolute blast with this game. It's real fishing for Sony PlayStation.